There's supposed to be a winter storm in St. Louis, so I am back with cookie number three. And these are gonna be sugar cookies today, so what better day to make cookies than when a winter storm is coming? Show this to Calvin. Calvin, look at the backyard, look at the snow, look at the fish in the cold water. So pretty, and where's Maxwell? <gasps> Maxwell! Maxwell, are you cold? Are you cold? I'm back in the 1960s Betty Crocker cookbook with Mary's Sugar Cookies from Mary Herman, and it says she delightfully shared many recipes when she was on staff with us. Here we go. According to Mary's recipe, you blend in the dry ingredients and then you put them into the batter, mix it all up. Take the dough out of the refrigerator Roll it out, use a little bit of flour to make it roll really nicely, and then use whatever cutouts that you want to use. I used a angel, a Christmas tree, and a star. Just wanted to keep it very simple. And a little side note, I looked up some history about sugar cookies, and it turns out that they were started in Pennsylvania in the 1700s in Nazareth, Pennsylvania. So that's kind of an interesting little fact for you. Next, get your icing ready. This is a very easy icing recipe. All I use is confectioner's sugar, vanilla, a little bit of water, and some food coloring of choice. And I dip my cookie into the icing, shake it off, it comes out perfect every time without fail. I love this icing recipe. The result is beautiful sugar cookies that remind me of my childhood, they remind me of my mom, the fun times we had at Christmas, and ultimately what this season is truly about sharing with others, which is why I made these cookie boxes for neighbors in my neighborhood to hopefully enjoy. It's the simple things in life that make everything better. A simple Christmas cookie box that shows people you love them, you care about them. And wherever you are, I hope you have a wonderful Merry Christmas.